This is another video about sex determination of a 34 week pregnant lady. So I have focused on the BPD and you can see the hypothalamus and uh, this is 34 week gestational age. Before going ahead please subscribe the channel, like the video and share it. Thanks. So coming to the topic. Now I am going to calculate the head circumference. You can see this is around 34 to 35 week. You can see the midline structure that is the straight line third ventricle as well as the hypothalamus. Now I am going to calculate the heart rate and the cardiac activity. Heart rate is uh, around 140. I have calculated it with the help of the waveform. Now I am uh, looking at different part of the fetus to see the anamnesis, the liker, the placental position. I am going to see the sex. This is the light color. Now I am going to calculate the abdominal circumference. I have focused it at the level of the gastric bubble. That is the abdominal section. I should not include the heart and the chest. So this is the femur. It shows about the 35 to 36 week femur length. So you can see it is about 36 to 37 week. In advanced pregnancy, femur length is most accurate and it is showing the more or the increased gestational age. So you can appreciate the scrotum and the penis. It's a very clear view. Very, very clear. Both the testicle in between. The testicle is the septum and you can appreciate the tip of the penis as well. This is between the two femur bone and you can appreciate it very clearly very very clearly in the thin and lean ladies it is very easy to see the fetal part as well as the sex determination you can see this sex the tip of the penis and the scrotum so this is a very clear view look at the penis and the scrotum this is scrotum I am focusing on the scrotum time and again so you can see how to determine the sex. This arrow shows the scrotal sac, the testicles they are ball like, they are visible. You have to focus on the arrow. Now this is the spine showing you the railroad phenomena, both lines they are in continuity and from the cervical to the coccygeal region there is no gap between the gap show the enamelous vertebra or the vertebral body. This could be in the spina bifida, this, there could be a gap in the spine continuity that could be one of the indication of the spina bifida. Look at the placenta that is frontal and the posterior and it is showing the grade 2 or 3 maturity. Very clear placenta. You can also appreciate the lining of the uterus and the placenta. Now I am going to calculate the thickness of the lower uterine segment. I have focused the skull. Now I will calculate the distance between the lower uterine wall and the scalp. 
that is about 2.5. Now I like to calculate the cervical length at the end. Cervical length decreases as the pregnancy advances. It is about 25. Normally it is uh, about uh, 35 to 45, but as the pregnancy advances, the length becomes decreased and the thin lower segment becomes thinned. Thanks. Again, please like the video, subscribe the channel share the video on the social media thanks